Welcome everybody to this virtualization lab. My name is Wayne Burke and I'm going to be taking you through stimulating your learning receptors by covering an overview of virtualization technologies generally and then we'll look at some of the popular software packages. Our lab objectives will be to cover a broad overview as I mentioned of virtualization technology. Also the software packages that we can utilize as well as some of the add-on software packages such as daemon tools to mount different images. We'll be working with different types of images for ISO files as an example or CD or DVD images and then we'll specifically be looking at VMware, VirtualBox, Parallels and Microsoft's VPC. We'll spend for the most part of our time on VMware simply because of its popularity and uh, we'll be looking at features such as the toolbars, the buttons, what different console views we have, how we create new virtual machines, the difference between creating a new virtual machine and actually opening an existing VMware machine or otherwise known as an appliance. And then we'll look at some other features such as snapshots, the different views and other tips that we actually have available within VMware. And then lastly some more advanced features such as the different types of appliances we can actually utilize, how we import different types of virtualized machines whether it be from a physical machine or whether it be from another kind of image software package such as Acronis and then we'll be looking at some of the advanced VM creation. So for the most part VirtualBox software is free, developed by Sun Microsystems. Parallels is not free though, and we'll be talking about some of those features and the versions that are available. And then Microsoft VPC is free, and then we'll finish this off with a lab summary. Now, for all intended purposes, for your requirements, we do recommend yeah, powerful enough hardware to actually get through the labs without uh, catching a bus along the way. So you want to obviously use a PC or a Mac uh, with an Intel Pentium dual core processor. A Pentium 4 should be fast enough and you want to be looking at uh, at least about 2 gig of RAM. Hard disk, the more the merrier, but nowadays an 80 gig is not very difficult to come by nice 17 inch monitor at least will be very helpful to you and of course it depends on what base operating system you are going to use of course based upon the operating system would be based upon what type of virtualization software you may be using such as if you're using Apple Mac you're not going to be able to use perhaps all four of the different types of virtualization packages we covering. so some of the actual products are very specific to the operating system and uh, the lab demo system we're going to be using throughout this is a Windows XP Pro system with Service Pack 3. And uh, as I mentioned, it all depends on your base operating system. So if you plan on using your own custom built OS, then remember you're going to be taking the first step to thinking outside the box. So don't always follow the step by step instructions. Always try and figure it out on your own. So the software requirements and all the links to where you'll download the software at this moment in time is available on um, the actual video that you see in front of you. So for daemon tools, go down to either using Google or uh, just follow along with the link you see on the screen. VMware, very straightforward, virtualbox.org for virtual workstation, Parallels workstation, parallels.com, and then Microsoft's virtual PC. So those effectively are the different virtualization packages we're going to be using with that first one being daemon tools for uh, mounting different types of image files. And then we're going to be working with some specific live CD ISO images. Now live CD means we can boot the operating system from a CD or DVD or in our case an ISO file. So we'll be looking at Samurai Web Pen Testing just to initially get that up and running. Ubuntu Linux Live CD and then we'll look at Off Crack Live CD for password cracking and testing. What's also very helpful with all of the virtualization technologies, of course evolving as uh, technology grows, 
we have these virtual appliances which if you think back a couple of years ago really is nothing more than a rack mountable blade server as an example well in our case we're going to be able to deploy different setup systems real quickly by downloading those pre-configured effectively virtual hard disks that will run on all of those different platforms perhaps some of them do need uh, to have some third-party tools that will allow you to convert and transfer and so forth but we'll be looking at some of those specifics as we get into the deeper part of this lab so the first software package that we're going to start off with will be daemon tools and again you can download daemon tools from the link you see in front of you but there are different versions there that have different features so you've got your light your pro basic your pro standard and then pro advanced and as you'll see from their website you've got different features with all of those different versions out there but effectively for us the actual light version will be more than sufficient as we could perhaps use our good old fashioned CD or DVD imaging software or CD writing software such as Nero and so forth so this is just to give you a quick list as to what you're going to find with the different features and uh, as you'll see from my system I've actually got uh, a slightly older version installed and um, what I'm going to do is actually take you through actually installing the actual package itself so that you can see it doesn't require any brain surgery or rocket science to actually install it so let's kick this off with some daemon tools so I'm going to start this with installing the daemon tools 4302 light package and as I've got a slightly older package installed it should come up and actually ask me if I want to uninstall the slightly older version and so I'll select next and I can then choose to either uninstall the daemon tools light or update to daemon tools light 430.2 so we'll select to uh, update it which means going to uninstall the older version which was 409 and you simply go through follow the wizard and we've got to restart and so we are going to restart and then we'll resume this once we've actually restarted so we back after a reboot of uh, daemon tools install so we'll just go through the finishing phase of installing daemon tools and as it's installing the daemon tools we'll select next you want to read through the daemon tools light end user license agreement and then translate into japanese i'm being so funny i know and then you've got some of these other features that you can select or deselect to install such as we're not worried about the browser toolbar or the daemon tools default search provider and uh, we don't necessarily need to integrate into windows explorer so we'll select next we'll remove the browser start page and then we'll just choose to install and so within about four minutes and three seconds we are ready to rock and roll so once we finish installing daemon tools we can then go and look at actually mounting some of those drives and as you can see as we just downloaded a version not too long ago there is already a newer version out so feel free to download the latest version we're going to just pretty much stick with the slightly one point one of a revision lower we're not going to be too concerned with the uh, slightly newer version at this point so uh, we'll just minimize that and at this point once it's actually finished updating the virtual devices we can go and have a look at our device manager and see what other types of devices have been actually added whether it be a virtual device or physical device so as you can see as a minimum we've got a new virtual SCSI CD-ROM device and that's normally pretty apparent when you go to your computer as an example and uh, there we can see we've got the physical drive and we've got the virtual drive so it's actually added an, an additional virtual CD or DVD ROM 
and we can also quite easily see that when we right click on daemon tools and we can go along to the virtual CD DVD ROM settings and uh, as you can see it's got the device 0 which is G and we can go along to mount an image so as an example rather than carrying a whole stack of CDs or DVDs we can simply go along to either burn an ISO image for uh, perhaps um, uh, your different software packages that you might want to have available as an ISO image and uh, in my case um, I can go along and we'll just have a look at mounting um, this is uh, ISO of um, some training material and so we'll mount that and effectively that will then give us access to that CD or DVD and so that was a real simple example of using daemon tools for this specific purpose and we'll be looking at you know, changing things such as setting the number of devices the default norm is typically one drive and uh, we'll go along and choose to un unmount that image so that is daemon tools Right, so we're going to now move into VMware and if we have a look at the VMware website at the www.vmware.com you will find a ton of resources. So as you can see there's two major topics. One is the data center products and then we have VMware Infrastructure 3, VMware ESXi which is a free download now effectively we've installed VMware on our existing operating system and so with your ESX or your ESXi we have the ability to actually have the operating system being in itself effectively a flavor of Linux and so there's some other major differences with uh, compatibility for hardware and so forth but in this instance that we're looking at right now on our configured system we actually have a Windows XP operating system already installed and then we simply install the virtualization over that. So if you have a look at the VMware site you can see there's a lot of information under solutions, products, the technology utilized and so if you're new to virtualization technology go and have a look at the virtualization basics you'll find a lot of animations and a lot of extra resources that will help you truly understand virtualization and how that effectively fits into today's world with regards to security within the forefront of the focus. So this is VMware as the basics. You can download a free version of VMware Workstation which is the version we use in and uh, that gives you up to 30 days evaluation of this product. You can also download some of the free products and if we go along to the products tab We'll see where, as I mentioned before, the data center products are, as well as the desktop products. So if we have a look at VMware Server as an example, there you can see the free VMware Server is based upon, of course, the typical VMware technology. But once again, for more information, have a look at going to the different areas within VMware.com. We will be taking a look at virtual appliances later on and uh, you've also got a lot of extra data sheets, frequently asked questions and so on.